welcome to Cornwall, a county rich in history that builds temples to biodiversity. Its rugged and beautiful coastline is the longest of any county in England and is home to the third deepest natural harbour in the world. This county's deep-rooted connection to the ocean is unparalleled and with this comes a profound motivation to protect it. Work has already begun to protect Cornwall's natural treasures. 17 special areas of conservation have been designated, all representing sites of significant biological importance. Through their designation, conservationists aim to conserve the precious habitats and important species that reside within them. One habitat forming species of particular importance found at many of these sites is seagrass. Seagrasses are marine plants that form extensive meadows in shallow seas on all continents except Antarctica. They play an extremely vital role in UK seas, helping to maintain a healthy marine environment through a wealth of ecosystem services. Their meadows turn bare sediment into a rich and diverse seascape, providing a critical habitat and nursery ground for commercially important fish and rare marine life. Just like plants on land, they flower, produce pollen and yield seeds. And just as insects do, small crabs and other invertebrates help pollinate seagrasses underwater. Often confused with seaweeds, these light-sensitive plants are in fact very different. Seagrasses have true roots and produce bright green leaves that form dazzling dense meadows. The development of these dense root systems plays an incredibly vital role in binding sediments together and dissipating wave energy. Seagrasses are also capable of sequestering and storing vast amounts of carbon, making them an invaluable natural solution to mitigating rising carbon emissions. However, just like rainforests and coral reefs, these incredible underwater gardens are under threat. There is extensive evidence that shows that more than 50% of our seagrasses have been lost. The rapidly changing climate is pushing life in our oceans to the brink. Poor water quality caused by runoff and pollution, land reclamation and coastal development are all contributing to the widespread loss of seagrass habitats. The impact of traditional boat moorings is now being recognised more widely. Long chains are used to anchor boats to the seabed. As the tide recedes, these chains fall flat, crushing the seagrass, ripping it from its roots as they sway back and forth in the current, leaving patches of bare sand laced throughout these beds. It's important that we work towards a more sustainable future, reduce the impacts of industry and society, and use less damaging alternatives as they become available. But the good news is, solutions do exist. Engineers have created advanced mooring systems that preserve the sensitive seabed where they are deployed by suspending moorings off the seafloor. Scientists across the country are also working hard to develop our understanding of these super plants. Projects are now investigating how meadows can be restored at scale through the harvesting and replanting of seeds. More people around the British Isles are now doing their bit to help, engaging with marine conservation and citizen science, which can help safeguard our local patches for the future. There has never been a more urgent need to restore damaged ecosystems than now. Ecosystems support all life on Earth. The healthier our ecosystems are, the healthier the planet and its people. The UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration aims to prevent, halt and reverse the degradation of ecosystems on every continent and in every ocean. But it will only succeed 
if everyone plays a part. We must unite to secure a sustainable future for our planet. Join the global movement to restore our world. <laughs>